Hello, everybody. This is Edgar J with Edgar J TV, and we are back here. Uh, this is episode number two, and we are cropping again. Remember, in last week, in last episode, we were cropping in CS5, but now I upgrade to CS6, and I need to sh show you how to crop all, all over again. Well, basically, the cropping uh, in the um, I, I, last week, I told you about the ratio and all that. That's still the same. We're going to work with the same ratio. And, and all that part is the same thing. What is changing in CS6, uh, it's so much easy to, uh, to crop. Right now, I have select the crop tool, as you see right here. And I'm going to go and select any other tool right here, okay? So if you click C, it's going to take you to crop automatically. So with the key C, you go to crop. You can see that, right? Or you can come right here directly and click on it and you'll be cropping. One big difference between CS5 and CS6, it's um, in CS5, when you um, select crop, nothing is selected in the image. Now the image is already selected. If you see, uh, you can see a line all around the image. It selects the whole image. That's one of the things that happens with CS5. Um, now when you uh, have here, you can go, remember like before, you can come over here and we have different already preset sizes. And actually this one I created myself at eight by 10, uh, 300 DPI. But we're gonna go here for now for this test. We're gonna do a four by six. We select the four by six and now we have the rule of thir thirds uh, right in, in the top of the image to help us uh, crop this in a better way. But that's not the only choice we have. We have now a grip. We have now diagonals. We have uh, triangles, and and we have six different, seven different ones here that you can go in and and use. You see right here in this one, you have this spot. I'm sorry, there. Uh, this spot right over here will be the most uh, interesting um, area of the image. So you can select on any of these. That this is really helpful. We're gonna go back um, to the rule of thirds, which is right here, and one other thing in. Uh, CS6, it's if you go ahead and crop right here. Let's go ahead and crop this, and let's say let's say that this is what we want right over here. Perfect. Uh, we want her face right there, which is the most important part of the image, and we click enter. Okay, we have this crop in CS5. At this point, it's crop. I mean, there's no. I mean, there's way back by Control C. But um, it's undoing what you just did. But in CS6, the difference is that all the information is there. If you grab uh, this corner right over here, you see all the information is there. So you can recrop again and move it around. Enter. Again, you just click over here again. You see? And the whole image is still there. The image doesn't ever go away. You don't delete the rest of the image. One big thing, if you saw me moving the image, before in CS5, you move the grip, okay? In CS6, you don't move the grip, you're moving the photo. Uh, this is something that comes from C, uh, from Lightroom. In, if you use Lightroom, you're gonna be used to this. If not, it's gonna be something new. And it's gonna take a little bit of uh, time to get used to it. Uh, it works a lot better, I, I think, but it takes time to get used to it, okay? So we click enter again and you see the image is cropped, but it, as soon as we click in any corner, the image comes back the every way it was, it was before. Let's say we want to we want to delete what's around it. We don't want to save it like this. We just want to delete it like we used to do before. We're going to come over here. You see right over here it says delete crop pixel. So if I click this and mark check that when I click enter, now if I click over here, you see there's no image. It's just the part that I crop, okay? Uh, remember, Command Z, I mean, Controls, yes, Command Z, you can, you're supposed to go back. I'm sorry, let me go Enter, okay? Command Z, and you suppose, come on. Oh, it's not going back. <laughs> okay, I have to check on that, and it might be in my settings, in my history, I don't have uh, enough space. You see right here in the crops, I can go back and go to Open, which is the way that I had it before. So you can go here to the history, okay? You see here, uh, this play button, you have the actions there, and with that, you have history. So you can move around in the history um, 
I don't know why uh, my command um, control uh, command sorry Z is not working. It's not going back, as you see, and um, so I don't know what's going on there. I have to check. But for now, you can go back to the history and go back to open, and that will take you back all the steps that that you want to take. Okay, so no matter how many steps you want to take, you go back. But the image is not there. So I I personally now I'm going to choose to have this on check. So when I do any cropping, if I do this cropping right over here, I go over here, click enter, I can go back to the image the way it was. And I'm going to tell you why I do this, okay? I'm a professional photographer. I do this for a living. Maybe you do this for a hobby. In my case, somebody might order a 4x6 of this image, okay? So I'm going to go ahead. I do a 4x6 crop. and um. I don't know. It's going to be kind of slow right now. But I do a 4 by 6 crop. You see how nice it is. And I'm going to go ahead and file. Save as. I'm going to choose a place to do it. So I'm going to do it in the folder where I have her photos. And I'm going to go 1, 2, 3. And create and save. Okay. I'm saving a 4 by 6 But she ordered an 8 by 10 so she got two crops. I mean, she ordered two images, one 4 by 6 and one 8 by 10 So now I can go 8 by 10 You see, I go back. And if you notice it, it crops the 8 by 10 exactly in the same place that I was. I might like it like that. I might not. But in this case, I don't really like it like that. So I'm going to go ahead and move it, the image a little bit more this way. Uh, I'm going to open it a little bit more. And I'm going to go here. But it could be the case that, that I like it. And so that will save me a lot of time right there. And I just click enter, crop it, and now I we'll have an 8 by 10 and I can say, I'm sorry, let me go the way. So here's a file, save as, and now I save this one as an 8 by 10 of the same image. So now I have two crops. It didn't took me any time to do it, and the image is still there for the future. If I save this image and come back to it in the future, I still have the whole image. It's undestructible. I mean, it hasn't been destroyed destroyed by the crop. Okay? So that's a cool, cool thing about cropping in the new CS6. I'm loving it, loving the crop tool. Uh, you have It's a lot of, a lot of more things like um, making the image straight. Um, like if you crop here and you tell them that's straight. It, it will do it for you. For example, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and fill the image a little bit. Let's say, okay, that will that was my image, and I want it to be straight. I just click over here, and then I'm gonna go ahead and tell the that straight it will be like here. It's straight. You see, and bring and bring it to straight. This works really nice if you're doing a if you're at the beach and, and you're photographing and you want the horizontal, I mean everything to be really straight. In this case, the image was really straight. Um, it, it don't apply for that, but it's it's awesome. You can do that too. And right here, you can cancel what you did, and and like oh, like here before that we have remember we have eight by ten, and we want it to be eight uh, eight by instead of eight, ten by eight, we want it to be eight by ten. So we click here, and that will switch it. But you see the crop switch right away. Before when I do you do, you do this, you have to recrop from the start. Right now, Photoshop CS6 is doing it for you. So you move your image, maybe you can open a little bit more this time because it's a vertical image, and you're going to go right here, and boom. There you go. You have your new crop. It's going to take a second. My computer, I know, is acting up today. Uh, I think I've been working too much on it, and it's kind of slow. But you see right there, perfect. And again, I switch over here. It switched by, my, by itself. I don't have to do much. Just move the image, open a little bit if I want to and click enter and this happens not only when you change uh to vertical to horizontal uh it happens if you just change the size of the image so uh when this is done let me show you really quick right here if you click over here and it's, let's say that i want a four by five so this right over here it brings me back to this and now well four by five it's it's really close it's the same ratio that's why you didn't see any change because the ratio between four by five and a by 10 is exactly the same. So we're going to go square, which is one by one. Boom. It automatically do it for you. And then you go right here. Remember, if, if you don't know about ratios, 
uh, go to episode number one because there I'm talking about not only cropping, but the, what's how the ratio works. Like if four by five and a ten eight by ten, it's exactly the same ratio. That's why you didn't see you didn't see any change. Let me do that really quick. That's an eight by ten, right? And then if I go four by five, right here, it nothing happens. And actually, it says here four by five. Uh, a by 10 because it's the same ratio. This is pretty cool because this one is going to help you to know uh, some ratios that are the same, like a four by five is an A by 10. Uh, uh, two times three, two times three is equal to four by six. So you see it's, those are the same ratios. So it won't make any difference. If you want to know more about it, go to episode number one and, and you can, I, I explain a little bit more there how the ratio works, but I think this gives you a really good idea. That's cropping in Photoshop CS6. I'm in love with the crop tool. And that's the, the, the crop tool. It's the tool most used in Photoshop. I mean, if you put them all together, the one that everybody uses the most is going to be the crop tool. So it's something that you really need to know uh, to use. And CS6, if you, I mean, I think you should upgrade to CS6. Yes, because the crop tool. It's a lot more new stuff in CS6. I'm going to be teaching from now on. Um, remember, I'm teaching photography and I teach you uh, Photoshop. So you're going to get both things in um, in, in this in, in Edgar J TV in every class. So I, I don't know. Maybe I'm going to have to do two shows a week. So one show, you get Photoshop and Lightroom and all many other software that I use in the studio. And, and another show would be for photography. I don't know how it's going to uh, how is this going to happen yet. This is the beginning of the show. But I promise you, you're going to learn a lot with Edgar J TV. So another thing, go to EdgarJTV.com. Remember last week, I told you that EdgarJTV.com was together with Edgar J Photography. It's one website, one whole, one only website. And as I told you, it might change in the future, maybe in 10 years when you watch this video, it's not together anymore. Let me tell you, it hasn't passed 10 years. It's only a week. And it's already two separate websites, one for Edgar J TV and another one for Edgar J Photography. Why did I do that is because the episodes, I wanted to be edgarjtv.com forward slash two for this episode right here. And for last week is edgarjtv.com forward slash one. And you're going to go directly to the episode. So having all to everything together didn't allow me to do that. So that's why I went and get a new website. Now, Edgar JTV has its own website, and it's pretty cool. It's it's getting better, and it's growing every day. So stay tuned for that. Get in contact with me. Go to Edgar JTV, and you can email me from there. You can uh, like me in Facebook. We can chat in Facebook. If you have any other, you have any question, you can post it over there. You can send me a voice email. It's right there on the website. Or you can just send me a regular email. Just go to the website. Come on, guys. Visit the website. Uh, sign in. Uh, please go ahead and give me your name, your email. And that way you, I can inform you every week when I post a new a new, um, a new episode. And I can send you cool stuff that I'm working on. And I can send it. I'm going to be sending things to only to those that I have the emails. So I won't be sending you spam. I won't share your email with anybody so trust that another thing you can do is subscribe to through itunes right there under the episode on edgarjtv.com it's a link that you can click and it's going to take you to um to itunes and that way you can get it automatically to your computer or your ipod ipod touch or whatever it is you know all those things that are there so remember it's not only youtube you can subscribe in youtube you can subscribe in itunes get it automatically and you can subscribe in my website, which is Edgar J TV, and leave you in there. You get it through an email, like type of like a newsletter. Okay, guys, God bless you, and uh, see you next time.